So I bought another random pen lot off eBay. If you're not familiar with these, it's when the seller either doesn't know or doesn't care enough about their pens or whatever they're selling to catalog them. And maybe you could find a good deal. Maybe you're getting completely ripped off. Anyway, I do it from time to time. This is one I got recently. It cost about $25, $20, right around there. Not too much, but not cheap either. I uh, got these pens. I think it's 14 pens. I wanted to run through them quickly and we'll see how I did. And we'll call it $25 just because I don't have the documentation in front of me. So one of the reasons I bought this lot is I saw this pen and I was like, oh man, a uh, Lamy LX or maybe a Lamy uh, uh, All Star, AL Star. And I thought like, that's a sweet pickup. I got to get one of those. And there are two of them in the set. That's these things sell for $30 each. And the pictures were not that good. Otherwise I would have noticed that this is actually a copy. It looks like a Lamy, but it's not. And I forget the exact model. It's a Jinhao or something like that. And it's a clone of the Lamy LX. It's a pretty convincing clone, but the hardware is definitely not as nice. And you can see it's not a true Lamy nib. So these things sell for maybe uh, under a dollar each. So I'll call them a dollar each. And there's two of them. And I've had clones like this before. I forget which one it is exactly, but they're fine. Uh, not what I wanted. So striking out so far. Next pen up was this one, and I didn't recognize this, but as soon as I got it in my hands, I saw that it was an online. And online is sort of a, I don't know if it's an up and coming brand or what, but you see them sold by actually some reputable dealers. And the pens sell for, I think around me 10 to $16 each, maybe $12 each, somewhere in that ballpark. Not too cheap, not too expensive. So I was actually pretty happy with this one. It's not, probably the one I would have picked if I was using my own money, but it is pretty nice. It's got an okay looking nib, triangular grip, which I think is cool, aluminum body, uh, kind of soft touch cap. And these things are, are, are pretty okay pens. I don't know the model, but I would put the value of this one at at least $10. And then it's called the online pen because it has this stylus, uh, I guess it's just a stylus back here. If you have an iPad or something with a capacitive touch screen, this will uh, be sensed by the screen. This is just sort of a random, it says made in Taiwan, but no brand. Uh, it looks really kind of worn out and old. Don't really know what's going on here. I'll probably ink it up and play with it if I could figure out what cartridge it can take, but this just looks like a random pen to me. This one essentially has like a negative of value because not only does it not have any value, but I'm gonna put some time into playing with it. So it's just not what I'm looking for right now. This is a uh, Osmoroid and I've seen their pens come up time to time, kind of an older brand. I don't know if they're still in existence. And this nib says, cannot make that out. Soft something, that's all I could see. Anyway, so this does not look like, something I'll clean up. It looks like it uses a standard international cartridge. So that means it's easy to play with and it won't cost me anything to put a little ink in there or kind of throw a new one in there. It might be interesting. Not really a brand I know anything about, but I do have seen them go on eBay now and then. I wouldn't put this value at more than maybe five or $10. I'd say $5. Here we have a Schaefer. These uh, are usually pretty interesting pens, surprisingly well built. And I have the ballpoint equivalent of this, which I did on a lot video a couple of weeks ago, which I like. This pen is tiny, tiny, uh, even posted. I don't think I'll really get any use of it. it feels pretty beat up, pretty old kind of feels a little sandy or something like that. I'm a little afraid to open it up on my cleanish desk. So it's a Schaefer again, minimal value, some rust, not too much to do with something like this. This was another pickup I was excited about. This is uh, very clearly 
a new pen, a newish pen. It's called the Twisby Go. It's uh, one of the latest pens from Twisby. And this is sort of their lower cost version of the Eco. Eco sells for about 30, this sells for about 18. And I was pretty excited to pick this up because it's just a really nice everyday pen. Uh, I don't I don't really love it. I actually like the Eco a lot better, but it's a, it's a good writer, it's very reliable. It's a piston fill. Uh, an interesting thing I didn't notice when I was buying it, maybe you could see now, but it's clearly, there's an exposed screw here, uh, exposed threading rather. And I guess the reason it was in this lot is because part of the plunger was lost. So basically there should be an extra piece here that pulls this in and out, that uses, allows the spring to grab this and pull it back. And that piece is quite obviously missing. If I had seen that missing plunger, I probably wouldn't have bought this lot. So definitely need to watch a little bit more carefully. And I could probably get it out, yeah. So I, I'll just fill it like this and that's that's fine. For as many, as often as you fill your fountain pen, uh, that's great, but definitely no resale value to this unless I emailed Twisby and tried to get another plunger and uh, went through that whole thing. They probably don't even sell parts for uh, whatever this pen cost, $15, $16. Moving on, here's another Schaefer. This is a little nicer than the one before. Got a cool hooded nib, uh, kind of old school vibe, like a 60s type vibe. So a little strange setup here. I don't know what cartridge this would take with that little piece sticking out. I don't really know anything at all about Schaefer pens, so I'm gonna have to look into that. But I could see using one of these now and then, keeping it at a desk or something like that. If you clean these up, they make okay gifts too. So, uh, you know, people get a kick out of getting an old fountain pen sometimes. I don't know what this one is. I cannot. No brand or anything there. That's some sort of characters. I, I can't make them out. It's very tiny. Nib says Iridium Point on it. And this one has a heavier feel than the rest of them. It's definitely a nicer, like a higher end higher end resin. I don't think this is an expensive pen. It's definitely not a sailor. <laughs> There's definitely something stuck in here hilariously. Uh, okay, so it's an old cartridge. With these short international cartridges, usually you could put one in one way and one in the other way. So you just put this one in backwards. That way when you need a second cartridge, you could just flip it around. So I don't know what this is, but has a nicer feel to it. I'll clean this one up and try to figure it out. There's no branding or anything. Or actually that might be some sort of falcon. A little bit hard to make out. Some sort of bird or falcon right there. Maybe a dove. Anyway, if you know what it is, let me know. Some sort of dove pen. It's actually pretty nice. Might have some, not a lot of value to it. You can tell just from the folded metal clip. It's not something that would have too much value, but it's definitely on the nicer side from what I've gotten in this run. Uh, very obviously another Schaefer. This one is a demonstrator, which is very cool. And it has a sort of this, uh, kind of like a barrel type nib, this kind of curved nib, it's very cool. This one I will probably actually clean up and ink up. I like that it is the demonstrator, that's very cool. And it has that sort of old school plastic. It seems so different than how plastic is made today. Here we have, this is an old Parker. Uh, it is a lever filler. I gotta say, I don't know enough about Parker's to tell you what model this is. Uh, so it should be pretty easy to find. I'm sure some of the people watching this video will know, but it's old lever filler, hooded nib. It's not a 51 or any of the super famous ones. Some, <laughs> some very obvious, I gotta say those are bite marks, which is not, not super exciting, but it's kind of interesting. I'll clean this one up a little bit when I figure out what model it is. Uh, that lever seems to work. It had a little suction sound. I know a lot of times the uh, bladder inside 
will wear out. So we'll see. This very might, very well might explode all over my desk. This is okay. So this is another online, and again, these are these are newer pens. Again, this one has a little weight to it. It's probably a sixteen to twenty dollar pen, around there. Has a. This looks like a Lamy style refill, but clearly it's an online. So online might use refills that are compatible with Lamy. I don't know. Uh, this looks like a good pickup. This is probably going to end up being the best of the bunch here. This is. It looks like a pretty nice online pen. Mid metal body plastic section i don't like that it has that seam there but good snap has the uh some information there on it so it's a good sign couldn't have gotten too much use nice snap there clip feels sort of useless but uh as the manufacturer intended so that's great this looks like a, essentially a new pen so i think this one alone will probably cover most of the cost of it not that i can really resell these but uh, I like to think of it that I'm getting my money's worth. And this is a uh, view wall, I guess. Don't know anything about this. Looks very old and yellowed. Yeah, view all. Kind of like VUE, -V like view.js, which is a little bit odd. But anyway, view all made in the USA. I'll do some research on this one. This is not a brand I know anything about. It looks to be looks like an ink dropper oh no it's a this is probably some sort of plunger wow it's a little scary so i'll poke around this one see what's going on i don't think i would trust the seals on this with ink and then lastly another schaefer this is gonna be the same one as this right here so kind of a matching pair it's pretty cool Anyway, that is the next fountain pen lot. I think this was a pretty successful one. Some disappointments with these uh, knockoff. Again, I don't know. I forget if these are Jinhaus or what, but they're definitely knockoff Lamis to me. Two onlines that are great. Parker and then the Twisby. Doing okay. So that's it. If you know about any of these pens, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.